Hi everyone, and I'm the writer, and today this is a different kind of video. So I don't normally make a trailer breakdown and review, but the Sonic movie and the rumors about it just made me want to try it. So here I am. Yes, I'm a huge fan of the Blue Blur and his friends. I have been since, I believe, 2007. Wow, I'm old. Anyway, so just some things I've noticed and possible ideas of what is to come in this trailer. This is all speculation, and I'm positive by this time the video is out that most people have already done a breakdown already. So if you're here, uh. Welcome and enjoy the video! Thank you for watching! Okay, right off the bat we get Sonic standing on top of a building similar to the opening to Sonic Adventure 1. This could be a version of Station Square and since he is on Earth, this would be the perfect location for it. We see the water shoot out from the sewers which is definitely a reference to the Sonic Adventure 1's opening and the cutscene itself. Sonic still loves chili dogs and is a fan of DC, even calling himself Luke Justice. I don't think he ever called himself that in the comics, nor games, or even the show, so correct me if I'm wrong, but this whole thing is a reference to Adventure 1. Could this mean we could get chaos? That is a possibility, but I don't think we're going to see chaos in this film just yet. Eggman having a station in space is something we've seen before in the games, comics, and shows. Behind Agent Stone in his coffee shop is Mean Bean, a reference to Dr. Eggman's only game, Mean Bean Machine. Which is fitting considering he reminds me of a Dr. Star Starline and Snivy to an extent. Uh, Dr. Mega Man is back and looks much more like his game counterpart. Gun soldiers are present and next to Maddie and Tom is an elder man who could possibly be the commander from Shadow the Hedgehog, the video game, and who was friends with Maria Robotnik, who is very important to Shadow the Hedgehog as we all know. We will come back to this at a later point in the video. It has been confirmed that the emerald in the trailers is pretty much the master emerald. Why is it tiny? I have no freaking clue. The emerald changes shape a lot, but that's because Knuckles makes that happen. Also, Dr. Eggman might be on Ancient Island by this logic, but who knows for sure. It could be Mystic Ruin, but I doubt that. Tails returns and even calls himself Tails instead of his real name, Miles Prower. I think in the games and comics, Sonic gives him the nickname, but this could be different. Though how they meet is different, but that and how they work together is a little different, but that's about the same coordination later on anyway. Tails has a tornado in his possession, but it isn't blue nor has Sonic's name on it, so the tornado is Tails playing this time around. In the game, Sonic owned it and then gave it to Tails, which we don't address much. I know we all make jokes about Tails being 8 and having a pilot's license, but Sonic is about 14 to 15 when he met Tails, and he had the plane. Does Sonic have a pilot's license? Oh, whatever. We hear ring sound effects and the spin dash sound effect as well. Sonic is facing Angel Island, which is interesting. He is seeing then snowboarding like in Ice Cap Zone and Wada Acropolis from their respective games. I'm pretty sure this is more relation to Ice Cap Zone since we refuse to talk about that one game, but it was a good game nonetheless. I do not care. Shadow is best friend there. You can fight me on this in the comments. Knuckles returns, finally, he looks so good too, and he seems to be more in line with his early game counterpart. Also, people forget, Knuckles canonically punched the super out of Sonic. He's arguably one of the heaviest hitters in the Sonic universe. It doesn't surprise me that he's able to stop Sonic. Also, it appears that Dr. Eggman tricked him, which isn't common for the Echidna since he believes in good of others, and he's kind of naive in the beginning. Um, so it makes sense for him to be tricked by Eggman now. They don't do it now, but that's how it happened in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, so that should be about it. Then. Now, that is everything I've noticed in the trailers. Here is the rumors and speculation part. If you don't want to hear rumors or speculate or get your hopes up, then log up the video. I won't be hurt. I understand more than anyone because of what happened in one division with Quicksilver. Thank you for watching up to this point. Okay, so everyone who wanted to leave left, Good, now let's get on to the theories and speculation part of the video. So there is a strong rumor that Shadow the Hedgehog is in the post credits. There was a test screening about the movie and some people did talk about it. From what I've heard, each character represents an element, which doesn't surprise me, we've done that before in a few Sonic games. Sonic is lightning and wind most of the time, and while Knuckles is the earth. I wouldn't be surprised if we see this dynamic. Now back to the gun commander. If this is him among the gun soldiers, that's a clever way to tie in Shadow. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a Sonic Adventure 2 movie coming up along with a Sonic Adventure 1. Those two are the most popular games of the franchise to date. I don't know if we're doing this in order though, that remains to be seen. If Shadow is coming, we are kind of missing two key characters, Amy Rose and Rouge. Amy's interesting since we have essentially and will be doing Sonic 2, 3, and Knuckles. We skip CD. Unless we add in Amy later, that remains to be seen. As for Rouge, she works for the government as a spy as well as the GUN. If Rouge is here, that would be interesting since she should be from Sonic's world, yet she's on Earth. 
though if she appears uh i don't know how ready the world this will be for that i didn't mention metal sonic because i feel like metal sonic will come dr eggman has a piece of sonic's quill and he could use it to create the robot i do feel strongly about metal sonic making an appearance in the sonic cinematic universe which is a sentence i thought i would never say yet here we are <laughs> Not to mention to both Amy and Rouge's credit, they are two important characters to Shadow's story arc in Sonic Adventure 2. Rouge even is Shadow's best friend in some aspects, and Amy's the one who realizes Maria's wish to him. I do think it would be strange if both characters don't appear, but I wonder how they're going to incorporate them. Alright, that does it for this video. If you all want, I plan to do an easter egg video on the second movie because why not? So look forward to that. For now, thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like the video, and have a wonderful day. Bye!